Hello, Hello, my darling. How are you? You slept well? Hello, Jean. I am very well. I give all the glory to God. And how are you? I'm fine too. I give all the praise to God. Please, darling, I'm going to work. Can you find me something to eat? Sorry, Jean. There's absolutely nothing to eat. The kitchen is empty. You'll have to leave like that. Please, my dear. Can you find me at least $10 so I can buy some bread? When I return, I will reimburse you. There is no way I can give you $10. Because the money I have is full of programs. I only have $200. If I give you $10, I'll be missing one. Excuse me, darling. I'm sorry I can't satisfy you. Joe, my darling, you know that I need strength to work. I beg you, please. I said it's impossible. Do not count on me. Why are you doing this, Joel? For some time you have changed negatively. Even to do something to your own son, you don't accept. So what? I am free to do what I want with my money. I have no accountability to you. Sir, I don't have time for you. I'm going to get ready to go out. I have an appointment. Okay, I understand. Thank you and see you later. Have a nice day. May the Lord keep you. Please come back quickly before the child returns so that he does not stay outside today. I'll be back when I finish what I came out for. Samuel is quite tall. Joel, can you hear yourself talking? What is your problem? What's wrong with you? Okay, I'm leaving. See you later. See you later. Lord, I don't understand Joel's attitudes. I put everything in your hands. Strengthen me Holy Spirit. Help me Holy Spirit because everything is getting heavier and heavier, more and more heavy. Father I trust in you. Please give me work this week. We have nothing left at home. I count on you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hello sir. Hello sir. Are you doing well? What would you like? What can I do for you? Please boss, I came to see if there is any work I can do this morning. Today there is nothing to do because the goods have not yet arrived. The boat will arrive in two weeks. Come back in two weeks to unload the boat. I will take your name and contact information. Come back next Monday. Lord, how will I feed my family during these two weeks? Sir, I can't do anything for you. If there was something else to do, I would have suggested it to you. I am really sorry. Give me your name. My name is Jean. I will come back in two weeks. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. See you in two weeks, especially courage. Thank you very much, sir. Lord, everywhere I went this morning I couldn't find anything. What will I do? Oh my god. Lord, I've been lugging around from left to right for ten years, doing odd jobs despite the studies I did and the diplomas I obtained. I became the laughing stock of my entire family. No consideration, no respect. My brothers and sisters speak to me with disdain, arrogance and pride because of their good situation and the help I often ask them for. Lord, come to my aid. I don't understand anything at all, but I know that you are in control of everything and that you will intervene in my life one day. Whatever the pain, the suffering, the humiliation, I will not give up and I will not relax. Help me Lord, listen to the cries of my broken and torn heart. Lord, hear the names by which I am named. Listen to everything that is said to me because of you. The word declares in Psalm 34 verse 18, The Lord is near to all who are broken in heart, and he saves those whose spirits are weak. Lord, thank you for being with me and I believe that you will save me. Holy Spirit, strengthen me and do not allow me to do anything that does not honor God and my kingdom. Do not allow me to take a detour or seek a shortcut, but keep me on the straight path, on the narrow path, whatever my pains may be. Do not allow me to compromise with the devil and sin, but teach me the eternal way of your statutes. Give me strength to hold them to the end. Give me understanding to keep your law and observe it with all my heart. Incline my heart towards your precepts and not towards the world and gain. Turn my eyes away from the sight of vain things. Make me live in your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I found absolutely nothing today to provide for my family. Lord, help me. Do something to me by your grace. Thank you, Lord, for doing this in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to go to my brother Gilles, 
to see if he can find me some money, even if he insults me and denigrates me, it doesn't matter. The important thing is that I can find something for my family for a few days, until the boat arrives in two weeks. It takes me two hours to get there. I have not eaten yet. I'm hungry. If I could find some water to drink it would help me. Lord, strengthen me, I am very exhausted. Hello Olivier, how are you? Hello Joel, I am very well. And you? I only think of you. I love you Joel. I'm doing very well Olivier. I also only think of you. You told me to come see you this morning, what's the plan? My dear, there is no program. I just wanted to see you because I miss you so much. I also wanted you to come and get some money. I will give you $5,000 for your needs. Wow Olivier, you are a treasure. Thank you so much. Thank you very much Olivier. It's a pleasure for me. It's my duty. I take care of my wife. Your wife, you say? Yes, Joel my wife, I would like to marry you. Are you sure of what you say? I love you too. I agreed to marry you. I say yes to you Olivier. I am very happy this morning. You know my darling, we are going to go out to eat and we are going to spend time together. I want to talk a little. Okay honey, there is no problem. Hello big brother. Hello Jean, you came again to cheer me up. What did you come to do again this morning? Speak quickly, I don't have your time. Please, I came to see you to find me something while I wait for work in two weeks. Look at this poor loser. I told you to come so I could take you to where I found the money. You told me now that Jesus would intervene in your life. Until now, your Jesus has not yet intervened. You said it's Jesus. Why are you bothering me again this morning? You had to go straight to Jesus. I told you I won't help you anymore. Stay far away from me with your life of begging. If you want money, come to our brotherhood and you will get the money. Don't bother me anymore, I'm not a social center. Your sister also offered to take you somewhere, but you flatly refused. You've made your choice, embrace it. Please my brother, help me because I have nothing for my family today. I beg you. You have to go see Jesus so that he can help you. I won't give you anything anymore. Okay I'm going to leave. Thank you very much my brother Gilles. I'll give you $200, but I never want to see you again. You even make me ashamed. You chose Jesus, stay with him. Don't bother us at all. Goodbye Jean. Thank you very much Gilles. God bless you. Bye. Bye. Look at this one. Good evening Joel, are you well? You had a good day? Good evening Jean, I am well by the grace of God. I had a great day. Thanks and you? It's okay, I'm very tired but I give all the glory to God. I didn't have work today. I was told to come by in two weeks. Ah good. And what are we going to eat during these two weeks? This situation is really starting to annoy me. My patience has reached its limit. I can't take it anymore. I'm at the end of my rope. Please Joel, don't talk like that, I'm begging you. Don't despair, I know you've given a lot of yourself, but don't give up. The Lord will remember us. He will change our situation. He is faithful. Let's be strong and courageous. Let's strengthen ourselves. Everything will be back to normal. I will fill you with happiness. Joel, you know I love you. I will regularize our situation. I will endow you and we're going to celebrate our wedding. Hey sir, it's okay, it's okay. Spare me all these speeches, all these speeches. I have enough. I don't think I'll stay much longer in these conditions. I've had it up to here. Anyway, we're not married. I can easily leave you. Neither known nor seen. Joel, you are a child of God. Don't talk like that. I understand you my darling. It's not easy at all but don't give up. Soon, God will surprise us. You can't abandon me Joel. You know I love you. The Bible says in Psalm 25 verse 3, As many as hope in God shall not be put to shame. In Psalm 125 verse 1, the Bible says, Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. She does not waver. It is established forever. 
my dear, we will not be confused or ashamed. The Lord will come to our aid. Let's be firm. I was able to find two hundred dollars. I'll give them to you so you can manage this so we can eat. Until then, the Lord will provide. It's going to be okay my darling. Bravery. I will fill you with happiness. Don't worry. God is in control. Lord, I thank you for the money you have given us. I sanctify this by the blood of Jesus. I take authority in the name of Jesus, and I destroy by the blood of Jesus every law, every incantation, every thought, every word about this money. I cancel and destroy every covenant, every bond by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus, and bless this money in the name of Jesus. Amen. Take the money to cook. Where is Samuel? Samuel is in bed. Jean, I'm going to go do some shopping to come and prepare. Okay, see you soon. Frankly, Joel, I can no longer live this life of misery. Instead of the situation changing, it is getting worse day by day. I think I'm going to leave to make my life elsewhere. We're not even married. He is free to rebuild his life and I too am free to rebuild mine. Olivier promised me marriage. He asked me to marry him. He is rich and he will make me happy. I am going to leave Jean to marry Olivier, because I do not want to die in this absolute poverty, in this total and incalculable misery. What is that? Shit, it's really too much. Good luck to him and his son. Good evening Gilles, how are you? Good evening Clara, I am very well, and you? I'm also fine my brother thank you. And your stuff? My dear sister, my business is prospering so much that I am truly moved and overwhelmed. I just signed a $5 million contract. Really it's fantastic and you my sister? My dear sister, my business is prospering so much that I am truly moved and overwhelmed. I just signed a $5 million contract. Really it's fantastic and you my sister? My brother, like me, everything is working perfectly. Next week I have to order goods worth $3 million. Really everything is fine. Your stupid, useless brother stopped by my office last time. John, the disciple of Jesus. Oh well, what did he come to do? What did he want? I, Clara, told him never to set foot in my house again. As he refused to follow us and it was Jesus who chose him, and although he stays with Jesus and Jesus helps him, he is just a wretch, an unhappy man. What can he come to my house to do, if not to beg, to beg? He came to extend his hand. It's his specialty, it's his profession, beggar. Your brother is really useless. He came to accompany others and increase the number of men on earth. He just has to stay there reaching Jesus. It will go moldy. How can he be so stupid and ignorant? Either way, it's his choice. He opted for suffering, which takes responsibility for it. Gilles, I told you that he don't have normal ones. There is a piece missing from his brain. I wonder how he was able to do well in school and get all his diplomas. He's really stupid and worthless. I told him never to set foot in my house again unless he accepts our proposals. Either he joins my brotherhood or you take him to your guru. Really Jean is a jerk. Jill, let's forget this idiot, this fool, and let's toast our millions. Afterwards we will go eat a good fufu drizzled with a white sauce full of meat, fish, garnished with eggplant, peppers, white peppers, green peppers and mushrooms, washed down with a good wine. I bought this wine when I was in France last month. It cost me 2000 euros. But it's great, we're going to enjoy it. Yes brother, that would be great. I think I'm starting to get hungry. We are going to leave. Okay here we go. Hello Jean, how are you? You slept well? Hello Joel my darling, I slept well by the grace of God. And you? I slept well, I give glory to God. And has Samuel already gone to school? Yes Samuel has already left for school. Jean, the $200 you gave me for house expenses is gone. What are we going to do? There is absolutely nothing to eat. Everything is finished, only a little rice remains. My darling, I don't know what to tell you, but I know that God will provide as he always has. I trust him. Jean, it's always the same refrain. How long will we remain in this situation? 
I told you last time that I can't take it anymore. I think it's time for everyone to take their own path. I'm fed up, I've had enough. What is this so-called home with so many difficulties, ten years of hardship? That's enough sir, I'll let you continue on your way. We are not married so we can separate without any problem. Everyone is rebuilding their lives on their own. Joel, excuse me for the term. This is ingratitude towards God. You are not grateful to God at all. Our situation has always been like this for the ten years we have been together. I know that God has not yet given me the job corresponding to my studies and my diplomas, but he gave me a job with which I could take care of my family. The situation started to deteriorate further, and got worse four years ago. Joel, we must thank the Lord. We must have a heart full of thankfulness and gratitude to God. He is a wonderful dad at all times. Joel, I'm going to go out in the evening to see if I can find something to do. Someone set up an appointment for me this evening for a job. Please lend me some money for today's meal so that Samuel can eat when he returns from school. Please darling, I will pay you back. I have money but there is a whole program for that. There is no way I can borrow it to you. I'm sorry, this money is intended to maintain me, to make me beautiful. I'm going out soon, I can't touch it. Joel, it's not possible, your son too. When did you change? Since when did you become so mean? What hardness of heart. Why are you doing all this? You know Jean, all that time is over. This whole life of misery and suffering is over. I'm not into that anymore. I won't even give another dollar in this house for anyone. It's all over. He's your son, take care of him. Ma Rover, I inform you that it is over between you and me. I am going to leave. Find yourself another woman. I do not love you anymore. In any case, there is no marriage bond between us. You're just incapable, worthless. Joel, you surprise me. You surprise me day by day. What is this bad change? Who is cheating on you outside? What did we show you that made you super excited? My darling, do it slowly. The earth is hard, but when you see the chameleon, it walks slowly and is very careful when it moves. You tell me today that I am incapable of our marriage. When I found a little money, I suggested that we get married, in order to regularize our situation before the Lord, you refused. I did everything, you told me no because you wanted a big wedding. Today you blame me. So, don't I have the right to want a big wedding? You will hear from me. Joel, that's you. I do not recognize you anymore. I no longer recognize the woman God gave me as my wife and partner in life. I no longer recognize the one who told me. I will be with you forever and I will support you in all difficulties. You want to let me down because of the suffering, you want to leave me because of the difficulties. In any case, Jean, I am convinced that my situation will change one day. People will see it. Some people will only have their big eyes to cry, others will scream, sing and give their lives to Jesus. Others will also be filled with bitterness, jealousy, envy but they will be able to do nothing. People will testify that God is alive real and almighty. You want to leave me because you see that it's over for me. That nothing good can come out of my life. You're wrong. People have made their diagnosis and their conclusions as have you, but God who has the last word has not yet made his. Do you remember that we are together, according to God's will for a purpose? As a child of God, you want to leave me. And your son Samuel, what have we done to you? Joel please be patient. And then everything you say makes no sense to me. I tell myself, and that it is God who suffers. No, it's me Joel who suffers, then. Stop your blah blah blah, your speech is with no outcome and no future. Joel, what arrogance. How rude to God. I didn't know you had reached this level. You are at a very high level. Wow, that's really pitiful. May God truly have mercy on you and forgive you. Thank you for your prayers Mr. Holy, just and pure. Anything. Joel, I feel sorry for you. You know that a great destiny awaits us. Have you forgotten everything God told us? Sir, in your dreams. Continue to dream. Dreaming is not prohibited by law at all. I came out of these utopias, it's been a very long time. Lord, come to my aid, this is not possible. What's going on Father? Help me Holy Spirit, I don't understand anything. 
You know Jean my darling, I think you would do better to listen to your brother and join his brotherhood or accept that your sister takes you to see her guru. We will be very happy darling. We will live in happiness otherwise I think I will leave. Get behind me Satan, I will never do it. If this is what I have to do for you to stay with me in this home, you better leave because I never and never will. You're asking me to go worship Satan to get money. You're asking me to sell my soul to Satan. Joel, you are cruel. You are sadistic and evil. You don't love me and you never have. You are very selfish. You don't care about my soul. My soul is above all the riches of this world. I will never let God down for fleeting things. I will never give up life for death. I will never give up the blessing for the curse. I will never give up the light, the kingdom of heaven, for darkness and hell. The God I worship is faithful. He will fulfill his promises in my life. He will deliver me from all these situations, even if he does not, I will never worship Satan my enemy. Kai and my sister, you know the greatness, the value of the sacrifice that Jesus made for me. Do you really know what Jesus endured for me? Never expect that. You can take the door. It is wide open. Everyone made their choice. I am a citizen of heaven and a stranger on earth. I am in the world but I am not of the world to run after the things of the world. I have such an estimable and infinite value in the eyes of God, that Jesus came to give his life for me. The brotherhood never and never. I wait on God and God alone. No matter what happens, what will happen. I will see God and he will be favorable to me. My eyes will see them and not those of another. Okay since you refused, I'll let you see God with your own eyes. I'm going to leave, it's over between us. Joel, since when did you become manipulative? How long has it been? You still touched me or called me sweetheart, but when it comes to sending me to sell my soul to Satan, destroy my life, you called me sweetheart and touched me. This is not the character of a child of God, but of Satan. You see me going to demean myself in front of Satan, the one that Jesus put under my feet. Never. Goodbye Jean. Take care of your son. Don't look for me. Think about your life and that of your son. I say don't look for me. I think I've been clear enough. Joel, you are abandoning me too. You abandoned Samuel and me. God is in control. He told me if everyone abandons me, he will never abandon me. I know he is with me and he will intervene for his glory. He will wipe away my tears. Lord, my soul cries with sorrow. Oh God lift me up according to your word. Father, I'm overwhelmed and overwhelmed with problems. Father. I can't speak. I lack words to tell you what pain I feel. Listen to the cries of my tears and the voice of my tears. Hear the pains of my torn and broken heart. Holy Spirit, give me strength for Samuel. Assist me in his education. Teach me to talk to him and take care of him like a mom and dad at the same time. Holy Spirit, please help me. I need you Father. Take me in your loving arms, console me. Give me hugs Lord. I need your tenderness and your presence. What will I tell Samuel when he returns? Holy Spirit help me. Give me wisdom. I don't want to hurt him. What will Samuel eat when he returns from school? Lord help me. I'm going to go see the lady at the shop next door to get some rice, eggs, canned goods, oil and onions on credit. When I go out tomorrow morning, I'll find something to come and pay her. Olivier my darling. I'm here. I'm here for you all alone. I love you my dear. How are you doing? I'm doing well my dear. And you, you're fine? You slept well? Yes Olivier, I slept well. My whole heart only thought of you alone, and couldn't wait to be in your arms forever. And you, my heart, did you sleep well too? I slept well and thought a lot about you my darling. Olivier my love, what are we doing? What is the program? I have set up a nice apartment for you. I asked to go shopping for you. I had the fridge and freezer stocked. I got everything ready for madam. I'm going to take you there, but we're going to go to the restaurant first to have breakfast. In the evening, I'll pick you up so we can go to the restaurant and then we'll go to my house afterwards. Olivier, why don't you want us to move in together? It's yet another source of expense, the apartment you arranged for me. You promised to marry me, why not live together already? Joel, we must not hurry. We've only been together for a few months. 
I need to see your parents and officially marry you before you come and move in with me. Don't worry my dear, consider yourself my wife already. Don't worry about money too. I'll give you $25,000. Tomorrow the driver will pick you up to take you shopping and change your wardrobe. You will buy everything you need. At the end of each month, I will give you $10,000. But if you have a need, don't hesitate to ask me. I'm here for you my darling. I love you. Wow darling, you are a treasure Olivier. I love you too. My darling, I think we have to leave because I have to come back to work in 3 hours at most because I have a work meeting. My dear, how did you like breakfast? You liked the choice I made for you. My heart, I really liked it. Thank you for the choice you made for me. My darling, I think we have to leave. I have to go to work. Okay, here we go. I'll miss you. We'll spend the whole evening together. You will spend the night with me so don't worry. It's in a few hours. Okay understood my love. Good evening darling dad. Good evening my son, my treasure. How was the day? Did you do well at school? Yes dad, I did well at school. I asked Jesus to help me. And he helped me. That's very good, my son. I am very proud of you. You will become a great doctor and the whole world will hear about you. People will come from all corners of the world to seek treatment at your home. The Holy Spirit will use you mightily. Amen, Dad. Samuel, my son, you know that Daddy loves you very much. Yes, Dad, I know you love me a lot and I love you too, Dad. Thank you, my son. I am really proud of you. You give me joy. Dad, where's Mom? Mom, she went to see her parents. She traveled. She left. And left me alone. For what? She didn't wait for the holidays to bring me with her. Mom doesn't love me. No, my son, don't say that. Your mom loves you. She just went urgently she will come back soon BT got grace. Okay, Dad, I get it. Dad, you know, you don't have to worry. Jesus will bless you. You're going to buy a nice car and you're going to drive me to school. Dad, you will be rich and people will come to your house. Amen, amen, my son. Jesus will do it. I trust him. Thank you, my son. Dad, I'm very hungry. Dad made you some nice rice with the tomato sauce you like. Thank you very much, Dad. Is there chicken? No, Samuel, my son. Tomorrow I'm going to buy you chicken but I gave you eggs. Yay, thanks, Dad. I am going to eat. Go ahead, big guy, my treasure. Enjoy your food. You undress, wash your hands well and pray before eating. Understood. Yes, Dad, I understand. Thank you, Dad. I love you very much, Dad. I love you too, my son. My darling, welcome home. Do you like it? Wow, great. I like it. I really like it. Joel, I'm going to leave you. Work awaits me. Call me if you have a problem. See you later. See you later, my love. My love, how are you? You slept well? Wow, my darling. You are very beautiful. What a beauty, my darling. My dear, I am very well and I slept well. Yesterday I was very busy. I had a lot of unexpected events. That's why I didn't come to your house yesterday. I miss you a lot, my darling. And you, how are you doing? I'm doing very well, my darling. I slept well, but I miss you a lot. I thought about you so much. Don't worry. We'll spend the afternoon together. I have a file to sign. After signing, we're going to go out to eat and spend time together. I feel the need to rest a little. I am very tired. Give me a moment and I'm yours. No problem my love. My darling, you know that you are very beautiful. I am the most fulfilled man on earth. Honey, I too am the most fulfilled and pampered woman on earth. Olivier, when will you go see my parents? What about our marriage? 
Don't worry my darling, I'll go see your parents except that lately, I'm very busy. When I finish work, we'll do all these errands okay? In two months, I will be cleared. Either way, we're going to go to a jewelry store and you're going to choose the ring you want. I'll buy it from you right now, no matter how much it costs. I love you Joel. Wow darling, you are a great treasure. I love you with all my heart. I love you too darling. It is a great pleasure for me to fill you with happiness and joy. It's okay, we can leave. Yes my love, we can leave. Good evening my darling dad. Good evening my son, you had a wonderful day. You worked well. Dad, I had a great day by the grace of God. Dad, I did a good job. And you dad, you didn't go to work today. No my son, I don't have work today. I will go tomorrow. Dad, mom hasn't come back. No my son, your mother has not returned. She called you on the phone? No my son, she didn't call either. Dad, how can mom be gone for several days and she didn't even think to call me to see how I'm doing? Dad, mom doesn't love us anymore. She abandoned us. Dad, I'm sure mom doesn't want us anymore. My son, don't say that. It'll be okay let's pray for her. You know my son, I prepared some chicken for you as I promised you last time. Wow that's great dad. Thank you dad, I love you. I am going to eat. I'm very hungry. You are going to undress. You are going to wash your hands well and pray before eating. Enjoy your meal, my darling. Dad loves you very much. Yes dad, I understand. Thanks dad, I love you too. Hello brother Jean. Hello sister Emanuela, how are you? What a big surprise, it's been a very long time. I'm doing very well. I give all the glory to God. Really, I really surprised you. It's been a long time since we saw each other. And you, how are you doing? And Samuel your son. I'm doing great, I give all the glory to God. Samuel is also doing very well. I praise God for his faithfulness. My sister, what does the honor of your visit this morning deserve to me? Brother Jean, I learned about all the difficulties you are going through at the moment and also the departure of your wife. I thought I'd stop by and say hello. Don't despair and don't give up. All the difficulties that come into our lives are not at all constant. It's just for a while. This will all pass. Know that the Lord is with you and he will work all things together for your good. Stand firm on God's love and faithfulness. God will come to your aid. He will change your pain into joy and your tears into joy. Courage my brother. Strengthen yourself and take courage. Thank you very much Sister Emanuela for your visit and your support. Truly God bless you. Among all this large assembly, you are the only person who came to see me. You are the only person who approached me to support and strengthen me. They're just talking about me left and right. Some say that my sins are the cause of my problems. Others say I'm cursed. I give all the glory to God for everything. I know that Jesus paid the price for my sins, the punishment that gives me peace fell on Jesus. I am no longer convicted or accused. Jesus also redeemed me from all past, present and future curses. He has redeemed me from all the laws of cursing. Jesus was cursed in my place. Let everyone say what they want. This makes me neither hot nor cold, because I know my God and I know the relationship between Him and me. I trust in Him and I know that He will remove my reproach. Everything He says is their own responsibility. Brother Jean, don't listen to what people say. Focus your heart and thoughts on God alone. I will support you in prayer. God will act. I brought you some food, rice, macaroni, couscous, cans of food, corn flour, oil and other things. It's not much but it will help you for a few days. I didn't forget to buy biscuits, chocolates and a few cans for Samuel. I wish you a lot of courage. God is in control. Thanks a lot sister. God sent you because I don't know what Samuel will eat when he returns from school. Thank you very much sister Emanuela. It's nothing my brother. Let us give glory to God. We are children of the same father. That's all we can do for each other. I forgot here is an envelope of $1,000 for you. Wow, 
that's not possible. Thank you very much Lord. Thank you Sister Emanuela. Thank you so much. God bless you. It's good Brother Jean. Let us give all thanks to God who never abandons his children. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for the protection and for the help you bring to Brother Jean and his son. O oh God our Father, you are wonderful and extraordinary. Strengthen them and give them victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Brother Jean, I think I'm going to leave because I have some shopping to do. Goodbye and courage. Lots of good things for Samuel when he comes back from school. There is no problem. Sir, please I have completed the work. I left to check the work. It's very well done. I owe you $450 at the rate of $15 per hour, 10 hours of work time per day and 3 days of work. I'm going to give you $500 because you did a good job. Thank you very much sir. God bless you. Thank you so much. Please, Mr. Jean. Stop by next week for a month or two job. This will depend on arrivals. Okay I understand sir. Thank you so much. Goodbye boss. Goodbye Mr. Jean and above all courage. Good evening my darling. You are here. You have arrived since then. What do you have? You did not look good. Dad, I'm sick. I'm cold. I don't feel well at all. Dad, I have headaches too. It's not okay, Dad. Please, I'm in real pain. What is going on, my great Samuel? I'm going to pick up some products from the pharmacy. I'm coming very soon. Were you able to eat? No, Dad, I didn't eat. I do not want. Do you want me to buy you something? Yes, Dad, yogurt and cookies. Okay, I understand. I'm coming very soon. Be strong, my son. Go to bed, I'm coming. Okay, Daddy. Thank you, Dad. Your body is very hot. I'm coming. Yes, Dad, I understand. Good evening, sir. What do you want? Good evening, sir. I would like some products for my son. Please, pharmacist. My son has a very high temperature. He has a cold and is coughing. He also has headaches. Don't worry, I'll find you some products. How old is your son, please? My son is 10 years old. Please, hurry. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I will give it to you and make it to the tooth. Activate. Top leg aisle zero. I will mark the dosage for you on the product box. You owe me $105. Thank you very much, sir. Take the money. Bye. Please, sir. Goodbye and good healing. Thanks. My son, how are you? It'll be okay the Lord is with us. Dad, I'm in so much pain. It's going to be okay, my son. I bought you some products. Let's go in the bedroom. I'll give you the products over there and you go to bed. I bought you yogurt and croissants. Get up, I'll help you my darling. Okay daddy. Don't cry, it'll be okay. Hello dad. Hello my darling. Samuel my son, what is wrong again? What do you have? Dad, I'm cold. I'm sick. Dad, I have headaches and I feel very tired. The medicine you bought me didn't cure me. Dad, please take me to the hospital. Tell Jesus to heal me. Calm down my son, I'll take you to the hospital. It's going to be okay, don't be afraid. Lord, what am I going to do? I have no way out. The money I have is insufficient for the hospital. I am upset. Lord, find me a solution. I bought some products that I gave to Samuel yesterday, but there was no improvement. Will I call Sister Emanuela to ask for her help? Lord, help me, I beg you. Intervene so I can take Samuel to the hospital. Samuel, I'm going to take you to the hospital. All right. Yes, Dad, I understand. Hello, Brother Jean. Hello, Sister Emanuela, how are you? I am fine by the grace of God. What's going on, Brother Jean? What is this anguished and sad expression? Where is Samuel? 
Today is Saturday, he must be at home. Samuel is lying in the bedroom. He has been ill for several days. I bought some products at the pharmacy which I gave to him because I cannot afford to take him to the hospital but the treatments are not responding. Calm down brother Jean, God is in control. I'll give you some money to take to the hospital and we'll see what else we can do. I have $1,000, I'll give it to you. If that's not enough, I'll make a loan for you at work. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Thanks a lot sister. Truly God bless you. Brother John, I came to tell you a revelation I had regarding your problem. God revealed to me the source of your problem. Truly I bless the Lord. God does all things in his time. God's time has arrived for your change, my brother. Ah well, my sister, it's true what you tell me. Talk to me, please. Will it take a long time, or will you tell me when I get back from the hospital? I won't take up much of your time, but I'd rather you come back from the hospital first. Okay, I understand. I'll let you know when we get back. Really? I don't know how to say thank you. Okay, I understand. See you later brother Jean. May the Holy Spirit help you. Amen my sister. Doctor, please, what's going on with my son? Doctor, it's serious. Mr. Jean, stop panicking. Your son will be just fine. Your son suffers from a chronic infection and anemia. We gave him antibiotic injections and he is on the drip. We will have to do a lot of treatments. In the evening, you will leave. I will prescribe medication for you to continue the treatment. You will come back in two weeks for a checkup. The temperature dropped. Fortunately you came to the hospital very quickly. If you had stayed another half day, you would have seen your son Samuel in a coma. He is out of danger. Thank you very much doctor. I give glory to God. Here are the prescriptions. Do the treatment very well so that there is no relapse. I gave him two weeks of rest so that he could take his products well and eat well. You can go join Samuel. We will do the accounts there which you will pay at the cash register before leaving. I will come see him in two hours, because there is a treatment that we do every two hours. Thank you very much doctor. Truly God bless you. See you later, doctor. See you later, Mr. Jean. Take your prescription. Thank you so much. Good evening brother Jean. How is Samuel? How did it go at the hospital? Good evening Sister Emanuela, Samuel is better. The temperature dropped. He sleeps soundly because of the products he was given. The doctor told me not to worry. Everything went well at the hospital. I spent $950 at the hospital. The doctor gave me a prescription for a treatment that we will do for a month, but he told me to come back in two weeks for a checkup. Samuel suffers from a chronic infection and severe anemia. Sister Emanuela, I give glory to God for your life. Really thank you for everything you do for Samuel and me. Be richly blessed. Let us give glory to God. It's not me who does it, it's God who does it through me. Let's give him all the glory. I will take the prescription and tomorrow morning around 9 a.m., I will bring you the products. He must eat well too. Anyway, I'll see what I can do. I brought him yogurt, croissants and pizza. When he wakes up, he has to eat. Sister Emanuela, I don't know how to say thank you. May the Lord remember you. I really don't know how to thank the Lord. I truly give glory to God. Brother Jean, have you heard from his mother? Doesn't he miss his mom? You have to go see the pastor to be reconciled. You have to go see your parents. Being married before the Lord, you cannot separate. My sister, Joel and I were not married before the Lord. We sinned against God but he has since forgiven us because we asked him for forgiveness and our pastor helped us a lot in prayer. Despite what we have done, he has not rejected us. He supported us. You know, when we got engaged, the first fornication we committed, Joel got pregnant. It's Samuel's pregnancy. After she gave birth, God was gracious to me and I found some money. I asked Joel to regularize our situation before the Lord, she refused. I was choking. She told me no, she wanted a big wedding. I went to see his parents. Her dad was on my side and the mom approved of her daughter it hasn't been easy for me but I give glory to God. Pastor Eli is very kind. He has a heart full of compassion. It is because he is no longer here that we have come to this assembly. 
What can I do my sister? Joel told me never to call him. She asked me to take care of my life and my son. I learned that she is with a man. She married a rich man. It's because of my situation that she left. Courage my brother. What you are going through is not at all easy, but be strong and courageous. God is in control. It'll be okay do not despair. I really feel sorry for Samuel. He didn't ask to be born. He does not have to experience all these situations, but God is capable of everything. Nothing is impossible for him. Thank you very much my sister for your support and encouragement. May the eternal almighty God fill you. Amen amen. You know my brother God does all things in his time. I believe God's appointed time for your change has arrived. God revealed to me the source of your problem. My sister, when you told me that this morning, I was really happy. Here is the revelation. I saw a man who was about 45 years old, who was crying and moaning, who said that all his descendants will not have money, because it is because of his wealth that his life has been destroyed and that killed him. The Holy Spirit told me that this is your grandfather's dad. He was very, very rich, but because of difficulties, wickedness and the envy of men. He said before he died that all his descendants will not have wealth or money, so that he does not suffer like him, because it is because of his wealth and his goods that he was destroyed until his death. The Holy Spirit asks you to take three days of fasting to destroy this word. You will stand on the finished work of Christ to do it with Galatians 3 verse 13, Colossians 2 verse 14 to 15. Oh Lord thank you for this revelation. Thank you for remembering me. I haven't prayed yet but I am assured that my suffering will end today. Oh Lord God, as many as hope in you, you will never be ashamed. As many as trust in you, you will never abandon them. Sister, thank you very much, thank you very much. May God bless you abundantly. Let's give all the glory to God. You know, I'm very happy for you. I think I'm going to leave. Tomorrow morning, I will bring Samuel's products as well as $1,000 so that you can cook him something to eat. I will try to make you a lot of cassava vegetable sauce for anemia and bean vegetable sauce for antibiotics. You'll be okay, don't worry, God is in control. Sister Emanuela, I have nothing to tell you at the moment. May the Lord bless you abundantly. May he do you beyond your expectations. Amen, amen. Goodbye brother Jean. Goodbye Sister Emanuela. Hello brother Jean, how are you? Hello Sister Emanuela, I am very well. I give all the glory to God. And how are you? And the work? I am also doing very well. I give all the praise to God. Everything is going well in terms of service, except that I have had a lot of work this week, but I bless the Lord, who is our all in all. And Samuel, how is he? And was health? And you went to see the doctor for a checkup. What's he saying? Samuel is doing very well. I give all the glory to God. We went to the checkup, the doctor said everything is fine. He just asked us to continue the treatment. Thank you very much my sister for everything you do to my son and me. We have been rejected by everyone, but God has not rejected us. Thank you Lord for your love. Brother John, let us give glory to God. He is very good and fair. Have you already fasted? No, I haven't done it yet because of Samuel's state of health. Since things are better now, I will start tomorrow with the help of the Holy Spirit. Okay may the Holy Spirit strengthen you and help you. I will be in communion with you. Ah good. You are very kind. God bless you. Where is Samuel? I can see him. He's in the bedroom. I'll call him. I'm coming. Thank you so much. Hello Samuel, how are you? And your health? Hello and Manuela. I am fine by the grace of God. My health is better Jesus healed me and so can you. Thank you very much Auntie Manuela. God bless you. Thank you also for the yogurts, croissants, biscuits and others. Who told you all this? It's Dad. He told me everything you do for us. Ah good. Let us give glory to God. All the recognition belongs to Jesus. You are very smart. Today I brought you a big cake, sandwiches, chocolates and milk. I'll give this to Dad for you. Okay, thank you very much Auntie. Auntie, 
When will you come and stay with us for a while? Soon, I will come and take you and Dad to the park. You are happy. Yes, Aunt, I'm very happy. Thank you so much. Brother Jean, your son is very intelligent. God gave you an extraordinary child. I thank God for this and I am very proud of him. Thank you so much. Brother Jean, I think I'm going to leave. May the Lord assist you during these three days and give you victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen. Thanks a lot, sister. It's a great pleasure, my brother. Goodbye and above all courage. Goodbye, my sister, and thank you again. Lord, I want to thank you for this beautiful day that you allowed us to have again today. I say thank you for my life, that of my son Samuel and sister Emanuela. Protect each of us and do us good in the name of Jesus. Amen. Eternal Dad Almighty God, I thank you for this first day of fasting and everything you will do for me. Thank you Holy Spirit for this revelation. O oh, Papa, you from whom nothing is hidden, I say thank you for my deliverance and my restoration. I love you with all my heart. I bow down before your throne to proclaim your power, your faithfulness and your love. You are the glorious God, incomparable and without peer. The Bible says in Psalm 145 verse 15, the eyes of all wait on you, and you give them food in due time. The Bible says in Psalm 102 verse 13, when you arise, you will have mercy on me, for the time to have mercy on me, the appointed time, is at an end. Receive the glory and honor for this appointed time which has come to an end and all the blessings you have planned for me in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you Holy Spirit for your presence and works in my life in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I thank you for this second day. May all the glory and honor go to you. Thank you for my life, that of my son and sister Emanuela. Protect each of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Glorious and almighty Holy Spirit, take control of all things. I dedicate the prayers to you, everything I will do this day. Lead me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the finished work of the cross. Thank you for your precious blood that you shed for me, my children and all my descendants. Thank you for redeeming me, my children and all my descendants from all past, present and future curses. Thank you for making me the righteousness of God in Christ. There are no more accusations and condemnations on my life, on my children and all my descendants. I give you glory because you accomplished everything for me at the cross of Golgotha. The Bible declares in John 1 verse 12-13, that having received Jesus, I became a child of God, who was born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. I am now of God and I am no longer from this family to inherit this curse, but according to Romans 8 verse 17, I am an heir of God co-heir with Christ. The Bible declares in Colossians 2 verse 14-15, that Jesus has blotted out the act of which the ordinances condemned me and stood against me, and destroyed it by nailing it to the cross, he has stripped away the principalities and authorities, and made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. The Bible says in Galatians 3 verse 13 that Christ has freed me and my children and all my descendants from the law being a curse for me and my children and all my descendants. I stand in the sacrifice of Jesus, in the finished work of Christ, I take authority in the name of Jesus, I destroy and make void by the blood of Jesus and forever in my life, in the lives of my children and my descendants, the words of my grandfather's dad, who said none of his descendants will be rich. I declare in the name of Jesus that all these words are null and void in our lives, because Jesus has redeemed us from every curse of the law having become a curse for us. I take authority in the name of Jesus, and I reverse every negative and evil situation on my life, that of my children and my descendants in all areas in the name of Jesus. Amen. This act whose ordinances condemn us and stand against us, I blot out and destroy by the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Amen. All spirits working through these words, I ask that fire consume them in Jesus' name, Amen. I declare that I am blessed, my children and all my descendants are blessed in the name of Jesus, Amen. We will prosper in every way. We will enjoy every spiritual and physical blessing, that God will give us in Jesus' name, Amen. I declare the end of this whole cycle in our lives in the name of Jesus, Amen. Lord, I give you glory for this day. Thank you Holy Spirit for helping me to act in the name of Jesus, 
Amen. O Almighty God, Papa God of grace and love, thank you for everything you have done for me. May all the glory go to you. Thank you for changing the story of my life and that of my children and my descendants in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you Holy Spirit for helping and inspiring me during these three days. I give you all the glory. My darling, you had a great day. I came to pick you up so we could go home together. We're going to spend the weekend together. We're going to take a little trip. Honey, that's great. We will have lots of fun. Honey, I'm not feeling you tonight. What do you have? You're not joyful at all. What is going on? Tell me, do you need something? Tell me everything you want. I'm here for you. Honey, I'm pregnant. We haven't gone to see my parents yet. I spoke with my mom on the phone. She told me we have to come see my dad. That's just why you're sad. I am very happy to have a baby with you. I wish it was a girl and that she was very beautiful like you. Honey, you are very happy to have a baby. For me, it's too early. We have to go see my parents. My dear, we talked about this last time. I don't have time to go see your parents yet. My parents are also currently traveling for a year, so you see that it's a bit difficult, and we have to be patient a little. You know, next week I'm going to send you to bring presents to your parents and you'll tell them I'll come later. Wow, awesome darling. You are a great treasure. You are exceptional. I love you. My darling, I'm very shocked but we have to have an abortion, because we have to go see your parents before you get pregnant. Your parents will be angry. I don't want this to happen like your first marriage. I love you darling, we will have more children after we get married. Why darling, do you think this is the best solution? Yes my love, trust me. Okay as you wish, I trust you. I love you my darling, we'll go see the doctor when we get back from the weekend. I love you Joel, you are a truly extraordinary woman. You too darling, you are extraordinary and I love you. Hello my darling dad, how are you? Hello my darling daughter, I am doing very well by the grace of God. And you Joel my daughter, how are you? And Jean my son-in-law, and Samuel my grandson? Dad, I'm doing great. I give all the praise to God. Jean and Samuel must be doing very well. What do you mean, they must be just fine? Your husband and your son, where are you from? You don't live with them. I don't understand the answer you just gave me in relation to the question I just asked you. Dad, I'll explain everything to you. That's why I came to see you this morning. I brought you good news. Dad, I am very happy. I am very satisfied. God is very good. Okay, I hear you. Explain what it is, so I can understand. Dad, where is mom? Your mom is in the kitchen. Okay, Dad. I'm going to go see her so the three of us can talk. I want her to be there too. Okay, no problem. I'm waiting for you. Okay, thanks dad. Hello my darling mom, how are you? Wow my darling, you are very beautiful. You have totally changed. I'm very happy to see you. I am fine by the grace of God. And you, how are you doing? Mom, I'm doing great. I give glory to God. Olivier, takes care of me so much that I don't think about anything anymore. Mom, I am very happy. He promised to come see you. At the moment he is very busy with work. Mom, I found the man of my life. I was wasting my time with Jean. I give all the glory to God, for what you now see clearly. Jean, he's a poor man. He has no future. There is nothing good that can come from him. And Samuel. Mom, Samuel is with his dad. I can't carry around a child. He takes care of his child. I also have to enjoy my life. You are right my daughter. You did well to leave him with his father. Tell me about your new husband. You told me he has a lot of money. You bought a ring. It was Olivier who bought it for me for our engagement. 
Soon we are going to get married. This ring cost $55,000. But it's very expensive. Olivier is really very rich. We will be very comfortable. My daughter, it's money that brings happiness. My daughter, you made a good choice. I support you. Thanks mom. I knew I could count on you. He sent you gifts. $30,000 each. Wow, that's great. Let's go to see your dad. Dad, I came to tell you that I met a wonderful and very caring man who wants to marry me. His name is Olivier. He is very rich and wants to marry me. I love him too. What, Joel? What are you talking about? What did you do? And John, this wonderful man that God gave you? Dad, I don't want Jean anymore. I don't love him anymore and Jean is not my husband. We were not married before the Lord. There is no marriage bond between us. I am free to marry whoever I want. Jean is no longer part of my life. I turned this page, it's been a very long time. For several months, I no longer live with Jean but with Olivier. He rented me a very nice house and I live very well. I have everything at my disposal. It's after the wedding that I'm going to join him. Joa, what are you talking about? The man who comes to promise you things and takes you away from your home, tears you away from your husband, you think he is going to marry you. When he finds what he came for, he will drop you like an old rag. Joel, where is God in everything you do? You gave him your body again. He uses you however he wants. Because of the money he gives you. Dad, I love him and I'm going to marry him. Do God is there? It's not God who gets married, it's me. When I was at John's house and suffering, it was not God who suffered, but it was me, Joel. I'm old and mature enough to know what's good for me. Jean, I don't want it anymore. The marriage to Jean is not forced. Joel, that's you. It is not possible. I don't know that you had become so insolent and rude. May God come to your aid. Anyway, as long as God isn't in it, I'm not in it either. I don't support this marriage you're talking about. I categorically say no to this marriage. Dad, I don't agree with you at all. You have to accept this marriage. He even got me engaged by buying me a $55,000 ring. He takes care of me and does everything for me. He wants to come and know you and talk with you about our marriage. He gave me $30,000 for you. And $30,000 for mom too. Jean, can he give you this amount of money? Dad, why do you want to destroy my happiness? Joel, you can't force me to accept this guy, this careerist. Where God is not, I Arthur will not be there. I'm sorry. Do not count on me. Just because he gives you a lot of money doesn't mean he loves you. He is able to give you a lot of money because he has a goal. You don't even know where he gets his money. You once asked yourself this question. May God come to your aid. The money he gave you for me, you're going to return that to him and tell him I don't need his money. I never want to see him at home. I'm done with it. Dad, you never loved me. You never wanted to see me happy. You never wished for my happiness. Either way, with you or without you, I'm going to marry Olivier. I will be happy. You talk to me about God, as if it was God who suffered with John. His story of Jean is over. Farewell to Jean. Rude, insolent, you shut up what does it mean? Is God your equal? God does not force you to marry John, but when there are also consequences, do not come and disturb God. You think God is done with John. You will see what Jean will become. You will only have your eyes to cry. Don't count on me that the consequences will come. The way you are mature and big to know what you need, still be mature and big to solve problems when they come. Dad, you hit me. There will be no problem. I'm going to marry Olivier whether you want it or not. Joel. This is just your opinion. I'm not in it. The money he gave you for me, I reject it with all my heart. I don't want poisoned gifts. Mom, you heard everything Dad said. Dad doesn't want my happiness. My daughter Joel, don't worry. I am for this marriage. I bless this marriage. Since your dad refused, give me all the money. When Olivier is clear, bring him. I'm waiting for you. 
Tell him that I am very happy that he is my son-in-law. Give me the $60,000. Mom, I knew I could count on you. Thank you mom for being with me. I love you mom. Take the money mom. Wow money. Only new banknotes. It's good to have money. Thank you my daughter. You will say thank you to my son-in-law. That I look forward to it. I can't wait to get to know him. You have to ask him to buy you a big house, a nice car. Requires a lot of money to build a very large supermarket. Mom, don't worry. Olivier loves me. He is going to do it. We will be very rich. We are going to have a very big wedding. People will come from Europe and the United States to attend the wedding. We will go to Europe to buy everything I will wear on the wedding day. My girl, you brought happiness to the house. That's what having children is. I don't know where you went to pick up Jean, a scoundrel like that. I'm proud of you Jill. Mom, I'm going to leave, the driver is waiting for me. I have to go see Olivier at his work too. I feel a little tired too. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Goodbye my daughter, many wishes to your husband. Goodbye mom. Thank you for everything. I love you so much. Arthur, I am not at all happy with you regarding how you received your daughter. It was happiness that visited us. You want me to condone your daughter's stupidities. You want me to take my daughter to the food court. I will never do it. You took the $60,000. The day the consequences arrive, be ready to accept them, to assume them as you did for the money too. Don't call me when problems arise. You are so mean Arthur. You don't want my daughter to be happy. Let my daughter live her happiness. Oh well, Ro, you're telling me that. Congratulations. May God help you. Your greed, your greed risks taking you very far. In any case, I will only be an observer, a spectator, when there is a problem. I strictly forbid you from welcoming this gentleman into my house. Go and receive it at your parents' house, in your family. If you venture to do so, that day you will meet Arthur, whom you have never seen since we were married. Be very careful with me. I'm not joking with my God. Instead of leading your daughter in obedience to God, you prefer to lead her in the love of the world, the love of money and lusts. Good job to you, and a lot of courage ma'am. Whatever, don't bother me, you're just an enemy of progress, of elevation. Olivier will not come here. I'm going to take him to my parents. With you or without you, Joel and Olivier are going to get married. Hello madam, do you want someone? Hello Mr. Jean. Madam, do we know each other? I don't think I've ever met you anywhere. Please, what can I do for you? Mr. Jean, I am the secretary of the Minister of State and I come from him. You come from the Minister. What is the problem? Please come and sit down. Please Mr. Jean, you don't know me and we've never seen each other. I am the Secretary of the Minister of State responsible for the direction of civil and military aviation. I come urgently from the Minister. We have been calling you for over three weeks without being able to reach you. We found your full home address in your files. This is what allowed me to find you this morning. Are good. Please, why are you looking for me? What is the problem? Why did the Minister of State send you to my house? Why are you calling me? Please Mr. Jean, don't be afraid, it's nothing serious. You didn't do anything. I was sent regarding your employment file that you submitted seven years ago. The minister saw your file two months ago and decided to hire you. He saw your diplomas and your specialties and gave orders to call you and do everything to find you, because he would like to meet you. Mr. Jean, the specialties that you have made, there are only three people who have made these specialties in our country. We truly and seriously need your service and skills. The minister asks that you come see him Monday morning at the office for a one-on-one -on -one meeting and finalize some contracts. We are giving you three days to prepare, because you will take office immediately when you arrive on Monday. The driver will pick you up Monday at 8 o'clock. That's not possible, madam. Is it true that it was the minister who sent you? Mr. Jean, you don't believe it. Here are the documents that prove it. They are for you. 
Thank you sir for giving me your time. Now I think I'll leave you. Goodbye and see you Monday. Thank you ma'am for all the trouble you have put in to get here. God bless you. Goodbye and see you Monday. Lord Eternal God Almighty, my mouth is speechless. I'm overwhelmed. I am surprised, stunned by what has just happened. Lord, I don't know where to start and where to end. Dad, honestly I don't even know what to tell you. Lord, thank you for your faithfulness and love. Holy Spirit, you have always supported me, strengthened me, encouraged me, and reassured me that you will not abandon me and that you will fulfill God's promises in my life. I really thank you. Receive all the worship and praise. No one has been your presence in my life. I could not go through this situation, all these humiliations, the rejections, the abandonment, the shame, the mockery, and others. Everyone abandoned me, even Joel, the one who was destined to support and strengthen me. Lord, I give you glory for the life of Joel. I have absolutely nothing against her. Do her good wherever she is right now. Father I say thank you for the life of Sister Emanuela who gave herself totally for Samuel and me. She is truly special and extraordinary. Lord, bless her. Remember her in Jesus' name, Amen. Dad, thank you so much. Thank you for honoring your word in my life. May all the glory go to you. I put this meeting with the minister in your hands. Holy Spirit, take full control and speak for me. In my favor in Jesus' name, Amen. I'll call Sister Emanuela so we can meet at the park, if she has time. Good evening Sister Emanuela, how are you? How was your day? Good evening Brother Jean, I am well by the grace of God. I had a lovely day, I give all the glory to God. You look very good tonight. I feel that you are overwhelmed with joy and your face is radiant. You really exude great joy. My dear sister, it's true what you say. I am very happy and I don't know how to express this joy. God has answered our prayers. My sister, thank you very much for everything you have done for me. What is going on? I applied for employment seven years ago. This morning the private secretary of the Minister of State came to my house because they called me several times for three weeks without being able to reach me. The minister asked that I come on Monday for a one-on-one -on -one meeting with him, and also take office at the same time. The driver will pick me up Monday at 8 a.m. It is for this good news that I ask to see you. Glory to God, Brother Jean. This is more than good news. God wiped away your tears. He changed your tears into laughter, your pain into happiness, your suffering into joy, and your shame into honor. I am very happy for you. I told you it's going to be okay, that God is faithful and he won't abandon you. You saw how God surprised you when you didn't even expect. Congratulations my brother. Truly I give all the glory to God. Yes it's true, God surprised me. I truly give glory to God. I don't even know what to say, to thank God and express my joy, because words fail me. Sister Emanuela. I would like with all my heart to really thank you for everything you have done for me. You have arrived at a critical and tragic moment in my life. May God bless you abundantly. It's nothing my brother. Let us give all glory to God. I can't do anything without him. You said that on Monday you have an appointment with the minister, and you will start work at the same time. Do you have anything clean to wear? You must dress well for your position. It's also your first day on the job. You're right my sister, I didn't even think about it. Unfortunately, I don't have anything clean or presentable. What will I do? You know it's by the grace of God that they were able to find me because they called me without being able to reach me, because my cell phone had problems. You know brother Jean, don't worry. When God starts something, he finishes it. When God wants to do something, he does it properly and perfectly. The Bible says in Philippians 1 verse 6, I am convinced that he who began this good work and you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Don't be sad because God is in control of everything. He is the beginning and the end. You know brother Jean, I don't have a lot of money, but tomorrow when I go to work, I'll make a loan of $4,000 or $5,000 so we can go shopping. Tomorrow, I'm going to ask permission at work to accompany you shopping because on Monday you have to get dressed. Don't worry. 
God has it all planned out. Be content and glorify the Lord. My sister, it's true what you say. Tomorrow or later at 11 a.m., I will be at your house. Sister Emanuela, I lack words to say thank you. What a good heart you have. You have supported me so much in my difficulties. You prayed for me. You spent yourself in all areas for Samuel and me, financially, spiritually, morally. What else do I know? Really thank you very much. God bless you. Brother John, let's give all the glory to God. It is he who is at work. There is nothing I can do without the Holy Spirit. By the way, how is Samuel? Samuel is doing very well, I thank God. When I tell him the news, he will be very happy. It's been a few years since his mother abandoned him. God will give me the grace to raise him for his glory. I trust the Holy Spirit. I know it's going to be okay. Courage, it's not easy at all, but God is in control, it will be okay. Since Joel left, she has never asked about Samuel, she has never asked about her own son. She abandoned him. She didn't even talk to him on the phone. Oh well, it's going to be okay. I wish you a lot of courage. Have you already told Samuel everything that's going on? No, not yet. I don't know how to go about it so that he doesn't get hurt a lot by being abandoned and rejected by his mother. For now, I pray and entrust it to the Holy Spirit. It wouldn't be easy for him. I will also accompany you in prayer. I will pray seriously for him, because inner wounds destroy many. Thank you very much. God bless you. Hello Brother Jean, how are you? You slept well? Hello Sister Emanuela, I am well by the grace of God. I slept well, thank you. And you, how are you doing? I am doing very well, I give glory to God. You have arrived since then. I apologize for the delay. I had urgent work to finish, which is why I arrived later than expected. Sorry for keeping you waiting. I set up an appointment for you here so we can save time. It doesn't matter, it's the work that's holding you back. Do not worry about me. I arrived just 30 minutes ago. You know Brother Jean, I took out a loan of $5,000 for the purchases we are going to make. I hope you buy a phone too because you can't use your phone. In front of people, your phone is no longer presentable. You are going to buy suits, shoes, in short everything you need. Take the money. Okay sister, I understand. Thank you for everything, God bless you. You will help me make the choices. Okay I understand, the Holy Spirit will help us. Look at the yellow and blue suit, it's very pretty. How do you find them? It's very pretty, you can take them. We will also go to other stores. Okay I understand, I'll go pay at the cash register, I'll be there. Okay I wait for you. Thank you for everything. Good evening madam. Please give me the accounts. Good evening, sir. Okay, I understand. You owe me $1,500. Okay, thanks a lot. Take the money. Goodbye and good afternoon. Thank you, sir. Goodbye and the same to you. Are you okay, Samuel? What are you doing? It's okay, Dad. I'm reading a book they gave me at school. Aunt Emanuela didn't come with you? No, my son. She left for home. She will come Monday evening. She sent you chocolates, croissants and your favorite juice. Wow dad, she is very nice to us. May God bless her. Samuel, God gave dad a very good job. God has listened to your prayers. Dad, will have the money to take good care of you. Dad will now pick you up with the car from school. I will pamper you my son. Dad, God is very good. He's very nice. God. I say thank you for giving dad a good job to take care of me. Thank you dad for taking care of me and pampering me. It's a pleasure my son. I did not have enough means to take care of you as I desired, but I bless the Lord who gives me the means today to do so. Dad, where's mom? Why hasn't she come back to see us since she left? She also never called. My son. I don't know what to say. Your mother abandoned us, because of my situation. I have to tell you the truth. My son, your mother married another man. Don't worry, you'll be fine. 
God is with us. My son, I love you very much, and I will take care of you. You know Samuel, your mom loves you and I'm sure she will come see you one day. Dad, why did mom do that? For what? She abandoned us. If she loved me, she wouldn't abandon me. Dad, you're going to abandon me too. Please dad, don't abandon me. I need you. My son, I will never abandon you. I promise you. I love you my son. I love you too my dad. Hello Mr. Minister. Hello Mr. Jean. How are you? I am very well His Excellency. Mr. Jean, I appeal to you in relation to your employment file which you submitted to the General Directorate of Civil and Military Aviation seven years ago. I have personally studied and analyzed your file. Given your skills, your diplomas and your specialties, I have decided to hire you as the General Director of this large structure. You will take office immediately. You will be paid $20,000 per month. You will get travel, fuel and many other benefits. You will be accommodated and transported. After two or three years of service, we will send you to the United States for five years of training with your whole family. You will get a salary increase after two years of work. Mr. Jean, do you have any objection to everything I just said? No, Minister, I have no objection. I accept your proposals. Okay, Mr. Jean. If you have nothing to say, I welcome you to the head of this great institution. We are counting on you a lot. I think I'll let you go to your service. Your secretary will bring you all the necessary papers. It was a great pleasure for me to meet you. Goodbye, Mr. Jean. The pleasure is shared, Mr. Minister. Goodbye, Minister. Good evening, Brother Jean. How are you? How was the day? Good evening, Sister Emanuela. I am very well and I give all the glory to God. I had a great day. God is faithful, truly God is alive and real. Sister, I don't know how to thank God. My brother, God is very good. I came to see how you spent the day, in relation to your work. Thank you very much for your support. You have never stopped being support, support and comfort for my son and me. I had an interview with the minister. I was hired as Director General of Civil and Military Aviation. I will be accommodated and transported. After two or three years of service, I will go to the United States for five years of training with my whole family. We will be moving by the end of the week. The driver took me to visit new accommodations. I am very happy, I give glory to God. I give all the glory to God for his great works. Brother Jean, I think I'm going to leave. I'm very tired because I came straight from work. And Samuel? Samuel is doing very well. He is so happy because I drove to pick him up from school today. I will leave you. We'll call each other tomorrow. I hope you'll come see me at work. I will think about it. Goodbye brother Jean. Goodbye sister Emanuela. Sister Emanuela, thank you for the happiness and joy you gave us today. You made us have a wonderful day. It's been a long time since I saw Samuel in this state of joy. He had a great time and laughed out loud. He was very happy. I was very happy when I saw you both running here and there. My sister, I truly give glory to God, who sent you into our lives. Thank you for being the day that clears our nights. Let us give glory to God. I too had a wonderful day in your presence. Samuel is a special child. I love him so much. Sister Emanuela, it's been two years since we became closer to each other. Will you allow me to call you Emanuela now? Please just call me Jean. There is no problem. I allow you Jean. Thank you very much Emanuela. This evening, I wanted us to be together at the restaurant to say thank you. You are very awesome. Thank you Jean. I think it's getting late. We have to go back because a new week awaits us tomorrow. Yes Emanuela, you are right. We are going to leave. I even have files that I have to deal with at home tomorrow. Hello Clara, how are you? Hello Gilles, I am not doing well at all. My life has become a catastrophe, my life has become hell. Each day that dawns, I sink deeper and deeper. My life is ruined, 
bankruptcy has taken over my head. I can't find myself anymore. I'm lost. And how are you? It's over for me too. I no longer have any way out. My brotherhood abandoned me. I was asked something that I missed because of my wife. My wife and children abandoned me, because they found out who I really am, what I do to be rich. This is what led my wife to leave me and the children. Our divorce has already been finalized. My sister, I am very dejected. I didn't have the courage to call you. Clara, I'm finished because I don't even have a single dollar left in my account. The company was blocked. All my property was seized. I no longer have a home. I can't eat anymore. What will I do? It all happened in the blink of an eye. I do not understand. What I was asked to do, I failed and everything backfired. Gilles, I am going through the same situations as you. The guru told me that he can't do anything more for me, that it's over. I'm sick. I can't have any more children and I will be a beggar all my life. You know Gilles, I met a wonderful man who wanted to marry me, but I'm not allowed to get married. It is strictly forbidden for me by the guru. I wanted to persist and these were the consequences. All my wealth went up in smoke. Gilles, I can't sleep. My whole body is burning. It was more advantageous for me to remain in my past condition. What are we going to do? It's over for us. I saw Jean last week. He was very well dressed in a very nice car driven by a chauffeur. I couldn't approach him in this condition I am in. I'm ashamed and with everything we've done to him, I don't think he can have me. I saw him in front of the General Directorate of Civil and Military Aviation. Does he work there? I do not know. What? Gene, this is not possible. His Jesus is also powerful. I really can't believe what you're telling me. Gilles, let's go see him and ask for forgiveness. What he always told us about his Jesus is true. Look at our lives. We took the wrong path. It was Jean who took the right path. You are right Clara. We're going to go see him. I'm really ashamed. I don't know how I could look him in the face. It really is very difficult. We have to go see him because we have no way out. Hello my son. How are you doing? Did you sleep well my darling? Yes dad, I slept well and I already prayed too. It's very good my treasure. What are you going to eat? I'm going to eat pizza with steak. Dad, why don't you marry Auntie Manuela? She is very nice to us. Dad, will she agree to be my mom? I want to have a mother. Auntie Manuela loves me. She takes care of me. I want her to be my mom. Samuel, I'm not marrying Auntie Manuela because God didn't tell me to marry her. I don't know if Auntie Manuela will agree to become your mother. You know my son, I understand your pain and your pain. I understand the emptiness you feel. I too am in the same situation as you. You know, we're going to pray. If God wants me to marry Tata Manuela, I will. I don't belong to myself. I'm not going to do anything without the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Samuel, we're both going to pray about this. You are going to ask God in your prayers too. Okay dad, I get it. I will do it. Lord God Almighty, I thank you for everything you do for Dad and me. I say thank you for the life of Tata Manuela too. Dad, you told me that if I ask you for something, you'll give it to me. Dad, you know that my mother abandoned me, she rejected Dad and me, because Dad didn't have any money. God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to give me a mother. God, give me a mother who will love me more than Joel my mother. I want you to give me Auntie Manuela as my mother. God, please look at how I suffer. When my classmates talk about their mom, God it makes me very sad. Give me a mom, I want Tata Manuela in the name of Jesus, Amen. Gilles, where are you from? What happened? What happened to you to put you in this state? Jean, I beg your pardon. Forgive us. Clara and I have sinned against you. We have hurt you a lot. Please forgive us. Don't reject us. Your sister is very unwell otherwise we were going to come together. We took the wrong path. We have taken the path of death, of the curse. This is the cause of everything we are experiencing right now. Come on, let's sit down. What's going on? Jean, Clara and me? 
We have problems. We have nothing left. We live on the street. These are the consequences of what we did. My wife and children left me. I do not have anything. Eating is a problem. John, help us. We beg you to help us. Forgive us for all the harm we have caused you. Gilles, Clara and you put me through a lot of things. It hasn't been easy for me at all but I give all the glory to God, who has not abandoned me or rejected me. I bless his faithfulness. We won't be long, let's go see Clara if necessary, I'll take her to the hospital. I'll find you an apartment to stay in. I'll take you to see a pastor later too. Let's go. Okay thank you very much my brother. Lord, I give you glory and bless you for my life and that of Samuel. Receive the glory for Emmanuel's life. Father, it's been more than two years since Joel left me because of my situation. She abandoned Samuel and me. She left to marry a rich man. Lord, today you changed my situation, but Samuel and I feel alone. Dad, give me a wife, a woman with whom I will fulfill my destiny. The one with whom I will accomplish your will. The one with whom I will walk on the path you have traced for me. The one who will help me to obey you and do your will. Give me a woman who loves you more than anything, who obeys you and who loves to do your will. Give me the woman whose heart is set on things above and who walks in the Holy Spirit. Lord, I present to you Emanuela. Give your point of view regarding it. Holy Spirit speak to me. You know that I love you Lord and my heart is willing to do whatever you tell me, because you alone know what I don't know and you know what can bring me happiness. Lord, I thank you for your love and care towards me in Jesus name, I prayed and received. Amen. This Joelle is really stupid. She thinks that I, Olivier, am going to marry her. She caught her finger in the eye. She believes that the large sums of money I give her are because I love her. Anything. She never asked where all this money came from. All that matters to her is money and the good life. Really these girls with their greed and greed. They think it's free. My dear Joelle, soon you will start paying. As for me, Olivier, I will already be very far away. I was told to just do three years with her, no more. I need to start preparing for my departure. When I go home, I'll check the date I was given. Olivier, you are going to become rich again, very rich. Joelle thinks I love her. This is why I give her very large sums of money. She doesn't know it's an investment I'm making. My darling, how did you like the evening? You liked. I organized it just for you. My love, I am very happy. The evening was wonderful. I loved. Thanks for organizing it for me. I love you Olivier. You are a treasure. I also like you very much. You know Joelle, I organized this evening to tell you that I love you and that the time for our wedding has arrived. I'm going to go see your parents, because I am now free from work. I have to travel for a week to see my parents, so that we can discuss our marriage. I have sent them your photos several times, and they are very happy to have you as their daughter-in-law. They're going to come back with me so we can see your parents. I told them that you are an extraordinary woman and you give me joy. Don't worry when you leave, I'll give you $50,000, so you can start preparations before I return. We've waited long enough. Now I want to have you by my side. Wow honey. That's not possible. I am very happy. Soon I will be your wife. I am very happy my darling. I am the happiest woman. Thank you my love. My darling, you are a great pleasure for me. You know this weekend, we will be together. I booked a special place for both of us. A nice surprise for you. Wow great. Thank you my heart. Good evening Jean, how are you? You had a good day. Good evening Emanuela, I am doing very well by the grace of God. I had a wonderful day. And you beauty? I am also doing very well and had a very beautiful day by the grace of God. You asked me to come see you after you got off duty. I wanted you to come after the service, so that we could go to the restaurant together. This is a really good idea, because I've been really busy today. 
I didn't have time to eat. Okay, here we go. The driver is waiting for us. How did you like dinner? I loved. You ordered my favorite dish. How do you know this is my favorite food? I ate well. Thank you, Jean. That's very kind. Yes, it is a great pleasure for me. I ordered it especially for you. I'm very happy to see that it's your favorite dish. Emanuela, I've known you since, but it's been almost three years since you came into our lives Samuel and me. It's been almost three years since you brought light to our nights. Emanuela, I love you and I would like to marry you. I want you to become my wife, the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. I love you Emanuela. Jean. I agree to become your wife. I have been waiting for this day for six months, because it has only been six months since the Holy Spirit spoke to me about it. I dreamed of Samuel crying and asking me to be his mother. I was really touched that I cried in the dream. When I woke up, I entered into a seven-day fast and that's when the Lord spoke to me, but I didn't tell you anything, because I was waiting for God's appointed time. I give all the glory to God for his faithfulness. Samuel is a child that I love very much, and the Holy Spirit has told me many things about him. I will love him and take care of him. I am very happy to see that you have come back definitively and forever into my life and that of Samuel. Thank you for agreeing to become my wife. You are a special and extraordinary woman. No man can refuse or refrain from having a wife like you. God wiped away my tears. God had mercy on me. Emanuela, you have no idea what I went through. I was rejected by my brother and sister because of Jesus. The day I couldn't find work, I went everywhere asking for money so that Joel and Samuel could eat. I suffered so much but God made my life a living testimony. I praise the name of the Lord. Emanuela my darling, I am very blessed to have you as my wife. You know, I want to have our wedding as soon as possible. At the latest in 6 to 8 weeks. I can't wait to have you by my side. In a few months, we will go to the United States for the training that the minister spoke about. Tomorrow morning, I will tell Samuel the good news. He will be very happy. I understood everything you said my love and I agree, because I can't wait to be by your side too. You know, Jean, my darling, you need to forgive everyone who made your life bitter and forget your past. Today, God opened a new page in your life the page of happiness. God has honored his promises in your life. Yes my darling, you're right. You are truly a wonderful woman. You know, a few weeks ago, my brother Jill came to my house for service, because he and my sister Clara were having serious problems. I helped them and took them to Pastor Eli for spiritual help. They also gave their lives to Jesus. I'm also thinking of going to see Joel's dad to greet him and say thank you. It's wonderful what you did. I am very proud of you. God asks us to overcome evil with good. As a child of God, we must never repay evil with evil, but must repay evil with good. Honey, I think we have to go home because it's getting late. Wow honey, it's really late. I'll drop you off at home. I love you my darling. I love you too Jean. May God give me the grace to take care of you to fulfill the purpose for which I am going to marry you. I trust the Holy Spirit. Have no fear my darling, what God has started, he will finish. Hello dad, did you sleep well? Hello my darling son, I slept well and you my treasure. Why are you sad this morning? You don't look good, what's going on? Dad, I didn't sleep well. I'm sad. I miss Auntie Manuela. It's been two weeks since I last saw her. Samuel, don't be sad. I have news to tell you. Auntie Manuela is going to become your mother. In a few weeks we will get married. Wow Dad, I'm very happy. I'm going to have a mother too. Dad when my classmates talk about their mom, I am so sad and unhappy. I too am going to talk about my mom now. Thank you Jesus for giving me a mother who will take care of me. My son, it's over. God has answered our prayers.
Hello, Dad. How are you? And Mom? Hello, Jean, my beloved son. I am fine by the grace of God. I give all the glory to God. And you, how are you doing? And your work? I was very happy when you called me to tell me the news. Mom went out. Dad, I'm doing great. I give all the glory to God. God is so faithful. Work is okay. God is in control. How is my little son Samuel? Samuel is doing very well. God is at work. Today, I thought I'm going to come by and say hello and really thank you for your support during the difficult times I had to go through. Dad, truly God bless you. You have been a wonderful dad to me. I brought you an envelope of $5,000. Take Dad. Thank you for everything. With everything Joel did to you, you still had the courage to come see me. Truly Jean my son, you have a good heart. God bless you. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Dad, I think I'm going to leave you. Goodbye and greetings to mom when she return. Goodbye my son, I won't miss it. Hello Samuel my darling son, how are you? Hello my darling mom, I am very well. And you? I'm fine too, I give all the glory to God. I came specially to see you today. You know my darling, I haven't come to see you anymore because I've had a lot of work lately. Excuse me and don't be sad. Every day that dawns, I think of you. Soon I will be by your side and we will see each other every day. We will never leave each other again. I brought you lots of presents this morning. I will spend the whole day with you. Are you happy? Yes I am very happy. Mom, I am very happy and very proud of you. I can't wait for you to come live with us. It will be my treasure very soon. I am very happy. I too am very happy. My darling, thank you for agreeing to be my wife and Samuel's mother. I give glory to God for this wonderful day, this grace that he gave us this day. You have truly blessed my life and that of Samuel. I love you my darling. I will fill you with happiness. You and me are for life. I love you Emanuela my darling. I bless the Lord who has written this day into our lives and who has made it possible. I am very happy and honored today to be your wife and Samuel's mother. I love you. I will take care of you and promise to be submissive. I will respect you, honor you and help you do what God put me alongside you for. I will take care of Samuel like my own son. When God gives me children, I will not put any difference between them and Samuel and my eldest son. I will take care of him like all the other children. I will educate them according to the word of God for God. My son, you are happy. Dad, I'm very happy. I love you very much dad. Thank you for marrying Aunt Emanuela. I am very happy to have a mother. My dear mother, I am very happy. I give glory to God. My darling son, my eldest, now I will always be by your side. I will always be here to take care of you. I love you Samuel, you are a special child. I love you too mom, you are amazing. Let's go, dad is waiting for us. We are going to go see the guests. It's over for me, I'm screwed. Since Olivier left, I have never heard from him again. He told me he'll do a week, but he's been silent for four months. When I call him, all the numbers he gave me no longer go through. I went to his job, the company no longer exists. I was told he rented there for just three years. As soon as he left, I got sick. The money he gave me is gone. I sold everything he bought for me to heal me but it's not working. I was kicked out of the apartment he rented to me because he only paid a three-year deposit. Where am I going to go? Today I am sick. In the blink of an eye I lost my hair, I gave off a bad smell, my whole body burned. 
I no longer sleep every night. I have nightmares and I find myself in cemeteries. Everything Olivier bought me, I lost everything. I destroyed my life. Despite all the analyses, we see nothing. I'm ruined, I destroyed my life. My belly is growing every day but I am not pregnant. Lord everlasting God Almighty, forgive me my sins. I was arrogant and insolent towards you, Dad, I beg you to forgive me. Lord, I have destroyed my life because of my lust, my greed and my greed. God help me, I beg you. If I had listened to Dad, I wouldn't be in this situation. I left John because of the things of the world, because of the riches of the world. I even advised him to join a cult. Oh God forgive me, Jesus come to my rescue. I am empty, I no longer live. Did Olivier sacrifice me to get money? Olivier made me a sacrifice. Joa, what's going on? What do you have? Where is your hair? What is this big belly? What is this foul smell? Joel, did you see what I told you? Sorry dad, sorry dad, sorry dad. I didn't listen to you. The consequences are terrible, it's over for me. I told you and your mother that when the consequences come, I won't be there. I warned you all. You told me that with me or without me, you are going to marry this gentleman. You told me that I don't love you and that I am against your happiness. You rejected God, because you found accursed money, mystical money. Shit, Joel, that's you. Look at you, you destroyed your life. You lost everything, even your son. Gene is married. He left for the United States for training with his whole family. God says he seeks the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness and I take care of everything else. This is what happens when we do the opposite of what God says. Forgive me dad, I have sinned against you. Forgive me dad, don't abandon me. I really destroyed my life. I rejected John and Samuel. Oh God forgive me. I'm going to call your mom so she can come take responsibility. She's the one who endorsed you, right? She took $60,000. Lisa, Lisa, come see your daughter. She brought you presents. Shit, shit, what is that bad smell? Joel, what's going on? Where is your hair? Where is Olivier? Mom, it's over for me. I don't know if I'm going to live anymore. May God forgive me my sins. Olivier is gone. I haven't heard from him for over four months. All his numbers no longer come through. His company no longer exists. I was told he only paid three years bail. I spent all my money on the hospital but the situation is getting worse. Mom, it's over for me. I was looking for money, the good life, here are the consequences. It's not possible, I'm finished. God help me, I beg you. My only daughter, save her. Mom, it's over for me. Olivier destroyed me. He used me to make a sacrifice. He used me to be rich. I have abandoned God. I rejected John and Samuel. I lost everything. God will come to our aid. Honey, what are we going to do? We have to find a solution. We have to find a solution. You and who? Don't count on me at all. You are the head of the family, right? You will find solutions without me. I warned you all. We have to find a solution. We? Who is it? You and me. My darling, I told you not to count on me when he has a problem. How can I, who am the enemy of success, find a solution? When I spoke as the head of the family and Joel's dad, you didn't respect me. You did what you wanted. You took the $60,000. The way you stood up when Joel brought the money, stand up again today to find solutions. You are nothing but a fool, a rebellious, undisciplined woman. You have not honored me. You didn't consider me. Manage yourself but know that if anything happens to my daughter, I will hold you responsible. Forgive me darling, I beg you. Today you saw Jean. I always told you that this boy has a bright future. He left for the United States with his wife and Samuel. Oh God forgive me. It was my bad advice that destroyed my daughter. Forgive me Lord, I have been a bad mother and a bad wife. I was truly a rebellious woman. Forgive me Lord, I beg you. It's over for me, it's over for me. Darling, I beg your forgiveness. Sorry darling. 
It's okay, I forgive you. Go get ready so we can go see the pastor. Hurry up. Thank you, darling. I'm coming. I'll just take my bag. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.